we'll guide you through how to make a fabric Minecraft server. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. First of all, we need to go and download the fabric installer. So go and open up a web browser. Now, just before we get any further, a big shout out to the sponsor of this video, Apex Hosting. While the method in this video is free, there's quite a few advantages to using Apex Hosting. Firstly, you don't have to host it on your own computer, so therefore the server can be online 24 seven. You don't need to go and share your own IP. Apex has got so many awesome features and to install Fabric on an Apex server is super simple. For example, while you're checking out, you can choose the version and you can just type in Fabric and choose the version. And you can always change it on your server panel later on by coming to game file and you can go and search for Fabric and install it. That is just a quick alternative. So if you're interested, there'll be a link down below in the comments and in the description. But to continue with the guide, come to a new tab and go and search for Minecraft Fabric, just like so. Come to fabricmc.net, click on download, and you can then click on download for Windows. And while we're here, we need to get the Fabric API. So click on it. You can then go and click on files and you need to go and get the version of the API for the version of Fabric you're going to install. So if there's some mods you want for Fabric, make sure you download them and you know the version you've got. For example, I've got mods already I want to add to the server, which are for 1.20.1. .1. So therefore I'll go and get the API for 1.20.1. I'll come over to the right and click on download file. So go and download any mods you want. Now all we're going to do is go and open up your file explorer and go to your downloads. Here we are and what we're going to do is drag the fabric installer and API onto our desktop. Now up here in the top left, these are the mods I want to install. So now let's go and run the fabric installer. You should go and get a pop up. And first off, we're going to install it as a client. So this is basically onto our own Minecraft launcher. Anybody who joins the server will also need to install it and have the exact same mods and the exact same version. So as I said, I'm using 1.20.1. .1, so I'll go and select that and then I'll go and click install. Just like that, it's now finished. And then you want to go and click on server at the top here and you need to go and choose the same version, which is 1.20.1. .1. Now you need to go and choose the launcher location. So in this case, I'm gonna go and click on the three dots. I'm gonna do it on my desktop, but I'm just gonna go and click on it new folder by right clicking and we'll just go and name this fabric server, just like so. Go and select it and click on open and then click on install. Now what we need to do is go and download the server.jar, which is fine, it should go and do it now. Here's the folder just here, I'll just move it so we can easily find it. Now as you can see, we've now gone and downloaded that, and we need to use this command to start the server, I'll just go and generate launch scripts, it's much easier. Now you can press done, and you can close off the installer, and we can open up the fabric server folder. Here we are. Now what you want to do is run the start.bat, so go and double click on it, and it should now go and launch. Now, if you go and get an error like that, just go and close off of it. And this is likely because you don't go and have the JDK installed, that's a Java development kit. So if that happens to you, open up your web browser and go to java.com. On the java.com website, go down here and you wanna click on Java SE development kit. Also do make sure you have Java installed. You probably already do, but if you don't or you're unsure, just go and download it and install it. So we need to get development kit. So go and get JDK 22, select your OS and we can then go and find the installer, click on download and wait. After it's finished downloading, open your file explorer, come to downloads and find JDK and just go and install it. Once it's finished installing, you can close off of it, open up that fabric server folder again and run start.bat. And now it should go and run successfully, as you can see. Go and let it run. And now what we need to do is close off this and agree to the EULA, which is basically sort of uh, terms of service. So go and open it up. And as you can see, we need to go and agree to it. Make sure you read it, I already have. So then what we can do is change the EULA to true, click on file and go and click on save. We can then close off of it and then we can then run the start.bat again. As you can see, it's now preparing the spawn area and it's now prepared it. So the server is now running. Now what I'm gonna do is go and close off of it because now we can go and add the mods we want to. So you can come into your folder again, find mods, and you want to go and place them in there. Now, what I recommend you do is select the mods you've downloaded, right click and press copy or control C and right click and then press paste or control V doing that because we also need to put them into the client side version of Minecraft as well. And also you need to go and add the Fabric API. So go and click on it. We can go and copy it by pressing Control C or just right clicking, pressing on copy and then pasting it in here, just like so. 
Now what we can do is come back to the main folder and we can then go and run the start.bat file like so. And what we can now do is go and open up the Minecraft launcher. You need to go to the top and click on installations and go and scroll down and find fabric loader. We're using 1.20.1 in this case. Come over to the right and click on the file or folder icon. And now what we need to do is go and scroll down until you go and see the mods folder. Here it is. If you've got any other mods in here, which are for different versions or different mod loaders, make sure you remove them. Otherwise it may cause a crash or whatever. And then what you need to do is go and highlight the mods and the fabric API and move them in just like so. Now what we can do is come back to the launcher and we can go and select the fabric loader for the right version, go and click on play and it should now go and launch. Minecraft has now loaded and the server is running as well. So then what we can do is go and click on multiplayer. You can go and click on add server. And because it's on your own computer for the server address, you can just type in local host. However, for other people who want to join it, they'll need to have those same mods installed, the same versions and fabric, etc. And then for them to join, you'll either need to port forward or go and make your server public following a video we've made before, which is actually quite easy to do. And you'll then have an address or your IP, which you can go and give them depending upon what method you use and they can enter in here. Then they can go and join your server. They can click on it, press join server, and here you are. As you can see, journey map is installed. And I've also got another mod called Jade, which shows you the block you're looking at. And so that's it. 